This is Grandmaster Daniel Narditsky. We are watching two modern-day legends, Jan Krzysztof Duda, facing off against Levon Aronian at the 2021 FIDE World Rap and Blitz. We have an English opening here. This could transpose into a Queen's Gambit, but it doesn't. This is a very popular line. D5 by Aronian, a trade on D5. And now E5 is very normal. Black goes D4, counterattacking White's Knight. A lot of action here in the opening, but this is theory. E takes F6, D takes C3. They're taking each other's knight. Now, White's got a bunch of different moves. Duda delivering a check on B5. Aronian blocking it with his knight. Now, Duda probably has to take that pawn on C3. He could also take the pawn on G7. And then Aronian will take on D2. A lot of mutual captures going on here. Let's see which line Duda chooses. He takes the first significant think of the game. Aronian still seems very comfortable. He's got over three minutes on the clock. As he leans back, is he in familiar territory? Duda now taking right about 30 seconds here, deciding which pawn to take, or is he going to throw in a check on E2? He does, Queen E2 check. Aronian blocks it with his other bishop, bishop E6, and now Duda plays D takes E3. He opens up his dark squared bishop to maximize the speed of his development. Knight F3 looks normal here. The position has calmed down just a little bit. Now the key question, which side will both sides castle to? Black can castle Queen side or king side, and that option is open to white as well. For Duda, castling kingside would be the positional approach, but maybe he'll get that dark squared bishop out and say, hey, I want to attack Levon's king. Maybe he'll castle queenside. Levon could say the exact same thing about white's king. So a lot of cat and mouse action going on here. Let's see which side commits first. Duda is down to two minutes on the clock. He's got a full minute down on Levon, who still seems very, very comfortable. This might be a case of Duda jumping in too deep into a line that he's not comfortable with. He's down to one minute and 58 seconds. He seems to be uncomfortable. Will he just castle here? It doesn't look like he's that much worse. If he castles short, maybe goes bishop g5, but Aronian's bishop's looking really nice in the center. They're clustered. They're staring down the king side and the queen side. So no matter where Duda castles, his king is going to experience some trouble. Bishop g5 played, queen g6, sidestepping. The other bishop comes down to d3. Aronian's queen uh, casually ambles over to h5, which is a great square. Now that black queen cannot be attacked. And if Duda castles king side, there might be bishop takes h2 check. And so that's what he prevents. Aronian still playing instantly. He castles. And there we go. Duda castling queen side. We've got opposite side castling, ladies and gentlemen. 95. What a move by Aronian. It looks like he's on the offensive here. And if Duda takes that knight, Aronian takes the bishop with check and then wins the knight on e5. That's the danger of castling queenside. That king on c1 is very, very exposed. And Duda clearly not happy as his time ticks down. Can he even save his material? He might have to move his dark sword bishop back. But that would allow Aronian either to take his bishop or to take his knight and cripple the pawn structure. Neither of which is appetizing for white. This is big trouble for Duda. Something went really wrong for him in the opening. He is down two minutes on the clock. That is a staggering amount for a blitz game. But what about g4? Maybe that was a try. He goes bishop e4. And if Aronian takes the knight on f3, Duda will probably move his dark squared bishop back, relying on the pin to recapture Aronian's knight. He can't recapture it immediately because that bishop on g5 is currently hanging. He goes h4. So he defends the bishop. That was his idea. He tries to keep the queen as boxed in as possible. That's an interesting move. Aronian could sack his queen. Aronian could play knight takes bishop and then take the other bishop after Duda takes his queen. That seems like a very interesting practical choice in a blitz game. And he does. That is classic Levon. Duda clearly not happy to see that he, Aronian is going to have three monster minor pieces for the queen. And Duda still with a very weak king. Knight takes c4. Now a four is threatened on f2 duda brings his queen back to defend f5 now would be possible to support that knight that knight looking real mighty on e4 and then aronian could bring those towers into e8 and d8 this is looking really really grim for white duda has to find a way to keep black's pieces at bay you can see him shaking his head he's down to 50 seconds he needs a big turnaround here but he doesn't seem happy at all this getting worse and worse. Aronian has so many ways to apply more pressure to White's position. Bishop c5 with threaten f2. Rook a d8. Rook f8. Duda showing no signs of making a move. He's down to 30 seconds. He's got to make a decision. He hesitates there. Was he going to move his queen? Where was he going to move it? There are no good squares. So vulnerable is that queen with that knight sitting pretty on e4, threatening a fork. 20 seconds for Duda. He goes g4. He tries to get that f5 pawn off the board, undermining it. That f5 pawn is crucial. Aronian's not moving it for sure. But... Oh, Aronian could actually take on g4 and then play bishop f4 check. So tactics here are possible, but probably no need for that. And Aronian making a very solid move. He gets his rook into the game. Rook a8, his piece is now perfectly coordinated. Duda advances the pawn to g5. Now the f5 pawn is left alone, and Aronian doesn't have to worry about the safety of his knight. Instead, he can focus on improving his pieces. Will he play bishop c5, that move to attack the f2 pawn? He does. Duda might have to defend that with his rook. Rook h2, maybe rook hf1. But that other bishop could jump in to c4 and attack a rook that appears on f1. He goes rook h2, does Duda, and Aronian says, 
Hey, I haven't had my breakfast yet. He takes that pawn on a2, and why not? His other two minor pieces are more than capable of supervising the center. Seven seconds for Duda. He's got to move. And he goes before desperation here. You can see the disappointment as he doesn't hold out much hope here. Aronian dropping the bishop back to d6, but anything can happen. Aronian still with over two minutes, and Duda sacrifices in exchange for that bishop. But now he's going to go down tons of material. Aronian is going to have two pieces and a rook for the queen. Duda is shaking his head. This is completely lost. Incredibly active pieces, and now a big material advantage to boot for Levon. And look at Duda's rook on h2. It's doing absolutely nothing. Levon's king is safe, and Levon taking his time. His bishop dropping back to e6. Maximal solidity. Queen up to f4. Duda trying to go f3. And trying to get that knight trap. Aronian rook c8 just in time. Rook up to h3 to defend the c3 pawn. Now Aronian could slide his rook down to c4. And he does. Creating a big x-ray against the queen. Duda has to play rook e3. Now Aronian could take the pawn on c3. But probably no rush. He could get his other rook into c8. And keep applying pressure on the c3 pawn. This is completely winning. Barring a miracle. Miracles do happen to Blitz. So Aronian can't relax yet. You can see him focusing. He's taking his time. This is a big moment. Will he move his knight and open up an attack against White's queen? Or will he improve his position? He improves his position with rook d8. So he decides to take that d6 pawn under control. Two seconds as Duda plays h5. He's almost running out of time trying to create chances against Black King. It's not quite over yet. Where is the knockout blow? There it is. Knight takes c3 now. And that's why Aronian played rook d8. It was to defend the d6 pawn so that the queen wouldn't be able to get active. With queen takes d6 as Duda drops his queen back to f3. Now bishop d5 looks good. The knight can come back to a4 with check. It can even come back to e4 right back where it began. And Duda's entire queen side is collapsing. Black's pieces could then converge on the exposed white's king. The rook from d8 could come over to c8. And then Black could infiltrate down the c-file. This is looking really, really bad. But Aronian, he's down in one minute. He's been taking a lot of time. He's got to make a decision here. He goes bishop d5. Duda immediately takes on a 5. And knight d1 check is going to fork the rooks. No, he goes rook f8. But Duda resigns anyway. It's completely lost in a crushing performance by Levon. If you like this video, make sure to click the link in the playlist for more of these Blitz videos. Thank you so much for watching.